put down off the top of the line out by George Knott, and then the breakthrough midfield for Hassel Collins immediately clocking on for work off the wing and creating mayhem straight away. Timo, please. The tackle referee just having a look at the big screen at that tackle. For me, it's top of the back, mate. Okay, so if we're looking at top of the back, he has lifted him, but he hasn't driven him into the ground. He's kind of just lifted his legs up, upended. So I'm thinking yellow card. Correct, mate, completely yeah. agree. Are we, are we up with that? Okay, they've got it wrong. Penalty here, Matt. He's hugely fortunate. Yeah, but there. Okay, so time back on, please. Set! Irish, set piece. Irish backs lined up like a, a cue for the underground behind set. him. Stokes who breaks away to the right hand side with Jackson. Stokes finds him. Oh, it's been intercepted. And you'd imagine that Piatau, oh, he doesn't have the legs and he was trapped in the end, but he got it away brilliantly to find Uren and the try scored by O'Connor. Well, in the end, it was Bristol who scored after Irish were lining up in a threatening position. Tackle now, the way. Thank you. Cowan on another intercept, and this time it's now Lango, and surely he will not be caught. It was a decent Olympic 100 metres for a moment or two between him and Ollie Hassel Collins. Well, he makes a change not to talk about red cards. Let's talk about interceptions instead. Oh, God. Oh, taken quickly. And Thomas has it, lays it up for Vui scoring. And the Bears in a little over half an hour, have gathered three tries. To knock on, just to knock on. Oh, it's over now, kicked away. Maybe that's playing its part. Uh, also, the likes of Piatal blasting through and linking up with now Lango. They are a circus act together. The two of them just toying with the defence at the moment. Back to now Lango, that is absurd. Oh, just it. absurd from 50 metres. The two magicians conspiring. It's an absolute worldie. Here's Chawatama. Bursting through, and that's nice from Steve Maffey. Defiance, absolute defiance, that they would at least have a word in this first half, and it's been provided by the battling Steve Maffey. Capon, Sheedy, Luatua. Not too far away from Loder. Just want to have a look at it. He's got. He, okay, you've got to say that he's got a chance of catching this. I mean, there was cover, and so James Stokes the was there. There's cover to stop a try, but there's no cover to stop the line break. Well, here's an unwelcome first Clear line break for Ben Loder on his 50th game for the Exiles. His first ever yellow card. To a Sui. Small two. Yeah, it was uh, Nick Phipps who came out second best. I just want to find out who the new captain is. And in a lot of pain. So he's looked at him. And he's made contact with the body. Yeah. He's, he's illegal with that contact. But there's no, been no contact apart from just on the body. Correct, mate. So it's a charge, basically. So it's a charge, the ball. But it's just, it's quite close together, so it's just a yellow card. That's, that's what I mean. Machidi joining Ben Loder on the Naughty Boy step. Jackson just started to fizz off in the work. Uh, O'Brien beautifully away, and that is a wonderful try. And here's the new man, Hepatima. And this is really nice, and this will be another score for Nick Phipps. Irish are engineering their way back into this contest. Phipps, Creevy, me, so to get the ball out wide. If they, oh, oh, he was in the, in the air. air, tackled in the air. It's now Lango. Tempo in the air. The question's being asked. The try's being scored, and Tom Parton has it. And in a season when we've had some extraordinary Premiership games, this is adding itself to the list. Oh, a, don't give away a penalty there. Still they go, and Parton and Hassel Collins, and back to Parton, oh! And Phipps has dropped it. And the end of one of the great games 
this season. Final score at the Brentford Community Stadium. Astonishingly, extraordinarily, almost unbelievably for Bristol. London Irish 34, Bristol 34.